Welcome back, Exiles. This is your boy SH. For today, we are going to play with two religions Yog and the Tarkato religion. The reason behind that is because I have recently found out that these two religions gives consumables to boost the stamina. You heard me right. They allow you to boost your stamina, which is a great because we definitely need more stam. I mean, more stam means more, more attacks. <laughs> All right. So, but before we get to it, I definitely want to uh, mention a couple of stuff here. First of all, as you can see, the base behind me has changed a bit from the last video. Now, what happened is that, let me go back to my first person view. There we go. This might be easier. So, the base was this half circle here, and uh, that was it. So, I just expanded the foundation over here. Uh, reason is quite easy, because I needed a space to place down our sorcery stuff. And also, we need to place down the thralls over here. So, I mean, that's fine. Who cares? It's They're going to be here. So, but the build will remain this part of here so this is the whole build we're gonna play around with and there's also been changing inside as you can see i have removed the um the entrance over here um that's just because it wasn't going well with the whole structure outside i'll have to figure something out here but you know for now it's all good <laughs> i'll definitely show the inside in a couple of a second that's that's not how you do it sh whoa relax buddy whoa that was my bad uh Let's just go down. That's fine. There we go. Okay. So, uh, another thing. Where's my horse? Horsey, come here. There you go. Good, good boy. Good boy. Wind Rider. Nice. All right. So, as you can see over here, all the uh, iron stone have been mined. And also in this direction over here. And, of course, I have mined a couple of uh, around these edges. And... Also down here, a couple of nodes around on the edge here, a couple down there. And of course, I have also mine a bit. My goodness, why am I just going down these days? <laughs> I'm going too fast. Um, all right, so over here as well, I have mined all these nodes around this area. So, and the whole thing gave us... All, thir all 3200 ironstone. I mean, that's pretty neat. That's a lot of ironstone that we got from uh, just mining this area. Now, I know that there are areas where there's, there's like loads and loads and loads of um, ironstone. So, I mean, just for just in this area, I have 3200. I mean, that's just amazing compared to what we were previously used to getting. I mean, this is a win for me, for sure. Uh, nope, not return. I'm going to stand guard here for a second. There you go. Uh, no, maybe not. Actually, follow me. That was my mistake. Come here. Oh, in here. Sorry, you forgot I went too fast here. So let's go on back to first person. I can actually do this. Okay, so once you enter, as you can see, we have two stairs. One on the right, one on the left. And this will bring us to the second story. The second story has not changed. I mean, it's still the same. There's literally nothing yet. And we also added a couple of fences over here. Railings, sorry, not fences, railings. Look pretty neat, I like them. Okay, so here. Here's the big work that has been done. So, I have been playing around with this and I figured out that if you place down, like you need four ceilings wide to unless before you place down a pillar right so you want one two three and four and you had to place a pillar here to extend but we have a pillar here so one two three so this is good enough this will be managed by this pillar and the other four will be managed with that wall i mean that's great so what this means is that i was only placed able to like i only needed two pillars one here one here for the whole room here. Just look at this place. Let's look how much place we got here. This is 
Beautiful. Now, over here, we had two furnaces. I added another one. The reason behind that is because I was actually smelting uh, bricks here. Because we're making hardened brick here. 1800, that's pretty good. We're still ongoing. And we're also making iron. Look at that. 100, almost 2200. That's great. And we're going to get more, even. All of this. See you. Put you down. So yeah, this is cooking iron, this is cooking hardened brick, and this is cooking the actual brick, or was cooking the actual brick. Now I might change it to steel. Yeah, I think steel is good. So if I do this, uh, I think we need uh, nothing. There you go. This is good enough for now. Uh, what have the horse? Where did the horse go? Wow, oh, okay. What are you doing upstairs, bud? What the hell are you doing upstairs? Here, give me all of this. Hey, this can actually go here. That's fine. Actually, take us in here. Yep. There you go. Drop that. And we can go. Half here. That's fine. Half here. That's fine. And take the rest. There you go. All right, beautiful. And we also added another blacksmith because this one is doing the reinforced recipe, the reinforced uh, steel, and this one is doing the reinforced iron. So these two are like they are working not constantly. No break. Uh, the rest, I mean, it's the same except for... I think this one. Art artisan table, yes. This one is a uh, big... Um, Lots of decorations here. Now, down the road, I will definitely um, furnish and also decorate this uh, build. But, you know, for now, uh, we're going to do with what we have. So, it's all good. Um, if you didn't know, the recipe to making hardened brick, you will need a brick. And you will also need stone consolidant. And to get the stone consolidant, you will need fiber plants and resin to the recipe is right here. So one with four fiber, fiber plants, you will get a stone solid. So there's that. That basically um, marks the whole thing. Now, I just to let you know, I already have the Arcado and the Pit of Yog shrines learned, but I will definitely bring you uh, to where one of these are, and that's uh, around here. The Shaman's Rise. It's right over here. I will meet you. Well, basically, we're, I'm going to make my way till here so we can actually I, I'll show you the spot and then we're going to head out here to the Skulker's End to find more bones so I can show you the what they actually do at these two shrines and the actually the food that we get from them. Uh, make note to make this stuff, you will actually need 15 iron bar. All right. So that's a must. Don't forget that uh, simple detail. But because I want to make the uh, the stuff over there, I don't want to be coming back over here and say, "Hey, look at that! I found one." No. So make sure that you got that, and from there, I'll meet you next to the shaman's ice right here. See you. All right, folks. Here we are. So we are right next to the shattered bridge right here, as you can see. Just next to this, uh, we got a like a, um, a cliff that you can climb here. So this is the way. Just go upstairs, right here. You have to go all the way up. And on your left side, you, you should see like the actual uh, shrine right there. So you should see this. And if you go over there. This is the Shaman's Rise. And here, you will talk to Ninu the Cannibal. From here, you will learn the emote here, and also learn the acolyte of Yogg. And as for the... So, 
that's for the accolade of yog so this will allow you to get the pit of yog and with the pit of yog can i place this somewhere there with the pit of yog can i just no you should be able to make some purified flesh now for the purified flesh you will need unblemished human meat to get that you'll need a yog cleaver with this, you, we should be able to get, um, pretty bone. I totally forgot about the bones here. <laughs> so with the, uh, you will need to make a yaw cleaver. And from there you can smack like all the exiles and they will give you a unblemished human meat. I'll, I'll show every, all of that in a second. As for the second one, I, uh, already have the Darkado because I think I started with this, uh, this religion, I'm not, I forgot honestly how I got it, but um, anywho, once you can Google it, it's quite easy. And once you have that, you will actually need to make a Dirkato kiss over here. So this will actually, that's why I said you will need 15 iron bar. I totally forgot about the bones, but that's fine. Uh, we can actually make this quite easily. Uh, if I just grab like, oh, this will be, okay, there you go. I got the branches. In here can make this the reason that you need the Dirkato's kiss is because you can make the elixir of freedom and to make the elixir of freedom you will need the silver of the unfulfilled and this is gathered again from exiles thralls whatever you have to kill them use this knife on them and you should be able to get a silver of the unfulfilled now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to head out and go to the Skulker's End over here. We're going to mess a bunch of exiles here and thralls. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of damage here. And from there, we can actually start cooking some nice uh, potions and uh, meals. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back. So we are next to the Skulker's End. So let's get into it. And we're going to have to kill a lot of these uh, Garfari thralls. Right, and now that you have killed them, use your... Uh, what's it called? This? Sorry, I forgot. The Dracado's Kiss. And from there, there you go. You got a human flesh, which we don't read right now, and you get the silver of the unfulfilled. And actually, what you can do right now, I could actually plop this up. Potato. Let's plop it. I don't know here. R two. There you go. Plop it right here. It doesn't really matter. There you go. And you will need some bugs. That's fine be able to get this quite easily by harvesting these uh, plant fibers there you go i got an eight and maybe a couple more i'll get none from there that's sad there you go all right beautiful uh sure why not i think it's these flowers that give you plant fiber uh, sorry bugs yeah it's these flowers sometimes <laughs> yeah all right so get that in Beautiful. I don't care right now. So let's make a elixir of freedom. This is great. We have the first potion that will allow us to get uh, to get a boost on the stamina. I'm really excited. Now, okay. Come on. There we go. Now, once you get this, I will show you my stats. My stats have nothing here. Nothing. Now, if we take this potion I'm gonna drink it now if i check my stats look at that stamina plus 21 this is awesome we just went from i think 107 something to 193 here on the stamina itself right here this is great i'm gonna pick this up did it drop eh. all right let's go in i'm gonna harvest maybe a couple more uh with my Dirkato's kiss and then we're gonna do the unblemished meat 
I need some bones, so that's why I'm uh, really, really not trying to get the uh, the bones first. Okay, get you. Okay, where's my thrall? What are you doing over there, thrall? Come here. Thrall, get over here. See that? This is why I need the stamina. <laughs> stamina is life in this game. Alright, get some stam back. There you go, get wrecked. Okay. I'm gonna send my thrall over there. Come here. Get lost. Uh, not have... That's quite sad. I'm gonna use a hatchet on these guys and hopefully get some bones. Flesh. It's not good. Bones, please. There you go. Is that a better way to get bones? I think a hatchet would do the trick. Correct. There go. I got 32 bones. I need 16 total. Here. Please. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Now, we are going to make a bit of dog. Somewhere. Now, I think here's the you cannot build. The nearest that you can build, I think it's here. Yeah. There you go. I'll put it right here. So in here. You want to make this and this will require another 40 bones and five branches that's quite easy let's make that and the yaw cleaver will allow you to once you like use them on a dead crawl or exile it will give you unblemished human meat here seven delete pick it up beautiful now let's go and now put it on here Let's get a couple of them. Did I get them? Why? What? Maybe I think I already had the... Uh, there you go. I think I already had... Took the... Um, uh, Dracado's kiss from these guys. So that's why it wasn't giving me any. Why? There you go. I don't know why it's being weird sometimes. There you go. There you go, beautiful. Sure, why not? What is that? A die? Uh, Alright. So we got how much we got? We got six. So six is pretty good. I think I'm going to switch back to uh, my Dracado's Kiss. Go. Let's get a couple more Thralls or Exiles. One. Also, can we can't kill the Sorcerer for... Oh, there you go. A scroll page right here. Look at that. You can actually find a scroll page. Pick it up. You have found a Sorcerer skill page. Nice. Beautiful. And sure. Eh. He missed. Oh, my thrall is a beast. Gotta love my thrall. No. Oh, get it. Right. Come on. Okay, human flesh, I guess. Uh, let's switch it to this. Kill him? He did. 
Oh, she did. Got anything else here? Nope. Uh, I could take that bone, actually. But pretty fine. And to shore bones are pretty good to get. The rest I don't really care. I think I already went here. Last one. East. Sure. What is that? War paint. Eh, sure. War paint, so I can put it on myself, I believe. I have to figure this out, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so this is good. Let's go to the Yog, uh, head of Yog, and make ourselves some uh, purified meat. Seven F Yog. Place it here. Place you here. Craft seven, please. Drop this. Uh, as the rest is fine, I'll bring everything else with me. I just want to show this. Okay, we got one. That's beautiful. Now here. Again, stats. We only have the twenty-one stamina. Now, once we get this one, this buff going. There you go, purified meat. Let's use it. F for stats. Favor of Yog. Health increased by 40. And stamina increased by 14. This is a beautiful. This is 35 increased stamina with both buff. And we also have a 40, 40 health increase. Like, this is insane. It is just insane. Love it. We have so much boost here. It's incredible. Where's my uh, there you go, water skin? This is beautiful. I mean, you have to, <laughs> you definitely have to get these buffs because they are really worth it. As you can see, they bring a lot on the table. What is that? Bring a lot on the table. So I will highly suggest if you have a chance to get these. Um, what you can do is start with the. Um, You'll need the bugs for that, but you can actually start with the Dirkato uh, religion when you're like starting a brand new game. Start with the Dirkato uh, religion and then just make your way to left here, Shadow Bridge. You're going to start like somewhere here, maybe oh, here in the middle ish somewhere. Just make your way left to Shattered Bridge and then just go from the Shadow Bridge. Just go on top a bit north to get the Shaman's Rise where you will learn the Yog, um, the Acolyte of Yog, which will allow you to make a pit of Yog. And then you can just go here, mm, like massacre the whole camp here to get what you want. So yeah, that's, this is great. I mean, this buff will stack a lot. I mean, the stamina one stays a while. It is just insane how long it stays. And the favor of Yog, you have to actually use it a couple of times, but I mean, as long as you just have a 10 on you, you should be fine. You you should be able to go around the world and come back and you should be good. I mean, these buffs are just great. Great, great, great. I have no other um, way to say it because they are great. Anywho, that is it. I mean, I did I really wanted to uh, play a bit with the religion because we this is our first time uh, playing with the religion. And I recently found out with the these... Um, boost stamina boost so i really want to share it with you guys so if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're brand new do subscribe to the channel take care